Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-October general love reading. This is your girl on Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aries. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in an Aries. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Aries and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Aries. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what is going on in your love life from now to the end of October. And for this reading, I am tuning into an energy that is in or around your energetic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment, whether you are single or you're taken, whether you're in a connection or in separation with this energy. Let's see what energy is coming through and why for you guys from now to the end of October. This one flew out and it says true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. The letter T is sticking out to me as in Tyler, as in Trisha, first, middle, last initial may mean something to someone. Does not have to be the case. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. You know, I feel like this is someone trying to cling on to you, Aries. I got to be real. And if it is the other way around, so let it be. But I do feel like there's two energies coming forward here. Someone that is you're feeling deeply for, you're trying to move towards, and then someone that is still lingering in your energy, seeing that you're in a new relationship or you're in a new connection. Uh, or maybe even for some of you guys, it could be like your ex or the memories of an ex is what's keeping you from pursuing this person trying to enter your life, trying to be, you know, very much engaged with you guys, but they know there's something off here and it's X energy that's still in someone's space very clearly. Someone could even have an X in their name. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Aries right now, spirit. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith bottom of the deck attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so what I'm seeing here so far, Aries, is that spirit is trying to bring change into your love life. Spirit is trying to get someone that you've recently met or started to connect to within the last six months is growing, is becoming more real between the two of you. But like ex energy, whether your ex is trying to reach out to you, get back to you, or is just thinking about you and is clinging on to your energy for dear life, that has to go. And I wonder if some of you guys, the ex is only around because you have kids with this person, or they live right near you, or maybe even like you work with them, or some sort of connection is still kind of keeping on in this. But spirit wants you to know, Aries, that it's safe for you to release any past energy, release what has happened to you through a very toxic ex because spirit is trying to bring something so much better into your life. And even for some of you guys, there could be someone that has major trust issues because of something that didn't work out, something that really hurt the other person here in a past relationship. But true love is forming here in your life. We're trying to come into your life. And I do feel if there's someone you've recently met, like, you guys are already starting something very significant. They feel already something very strongly to you, Aries, that they want to hold on, that they want to keep faith in. Wow, this is powerful. Tell me more. What, what does Aries need to know about the energy around them, spirit? 
Okay. Clinging, holding on, obsessing, and watching. Ooh, Aries. Could be a water sign that you dealt with in the past, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Does not have to be the case, but then distance. Barrier separation in space. Okay. So for some of you, I gotta say, um, yeah, there's someone who just won't let you go energetically. I hate to say it, but kind of obsessed with you in some sort of way, Aries, like constantly thinking about you, constantly constantly needing to check up on your social media to see where you're at, who you're with, what you're doing. And even if you have like blocked them, they found another way to your social media, whether that's through a friend's account, whether that's making a fake profile, um, or some having someone snoop, okay? I just wanna be real with you and put that out there because I definitely see that for some of you guys. But for others of you, there's just the experience of the past that someone's hanging on to is a reason as to why they don't want to advance this, why they don't want to take a leap of faith and go in a whole new direction. There's some sort of handwritten note or text message that someone screenshotted and saved and goes back to, rereads, that was from an ex. I don't know if that's what you sent someone else, Aries, or that you have kept with you but I have to say spirit for someone that specific message resonates with that needs to be deleted or let go of because part of holding that physical entity is what's keeping the space for past energy to still thrive in your space but yeah I gotta say like I don't know someone's been really emotional over you from the past someone has been really regretting what could didn't unfold for you in the past and um, they're just having a hard time like seeing you happy, seeing you, if you're not even just feeling that way 100% of the time, just moving on while they're still so stuck on you. But I kind of have to say, Aries, there's someone that is ready to go the next level that really wants to be with you, but is feeling like they have to earn your trust or that there's just big trust issues. Wow. Okay. Let's go right on into this. I'm going to see how they feel about you right now. What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Aries? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? <sighs> My goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get all the cards out first. Of course, I'll show you, but... Whew, Aries. Yeah, you feel the energy very intensely, too. And know it's because they're still trying to desperately cling on to what you guys once had. And I mean desperately, okay? Yeah. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. This past person could have had very strong Aquarius energy, um, and their chart does not have to be the case. Of course, you can even have Aquarius rising, moon, whatever. But I feel with this is that some of you guys have really started to understand and realize something about a past situation. I do feel with the King of Swords, there was a decision that you've made that you've stuck to. Whether that's like, I'm not going to reach out to this person anymore. I'm not going to give this person a chance. There's something that someone has been struggling with that they haven't been able to change your mind. They haven't been able to make you kind of see a different thing because what you already see in Aries, you're sticking with and you're not letting that go. Now, with the King of Swords energy, I feel that if this is this newer energy, they're trying to understand you. They're trying to figure out you out. They're trying to kind of see why maybe there's been some trust issues. And they've been trying to bring up certain conversations. And I do feel maybe even in the recent past, you were very real with them. Look, I was hurt in love. This is what happened to me. And they've had a better understanding, but I think they know that there are going to be some sort of obstacles to overcome 
for the two of you, but they're prepared to do it. This person is cool, calm, detached, and I think that's something you really like, Aries, especially if you were dealing with the clingy ex in the past. But having this new energy that is very, you know, very logical, very reasonable, sees things from all sides, it's kind of hard for you to kind of trust that this is truly who they are, especially if you guys are getting over some sort of toxic past. Maybe you and this true love energy had recently a very serious conversation. And a lot of things that have been said or spoke on both sides has really stuck with each other. And helping someone understand that there's a lot still here to overcome. But let's see what we can do to fix it. They want to mend the bridges between the two of you and show you that they're not that person from the past. Someone could even live by a bridge or off an overpass exit on a freeway or not too far from one at all. How they feel about you, Aries, is justice. Libra energy. So I do feel that there are two energies clearly trying to be in this one reading. Both of these energies feel as if you are their perfect match, that you are someone that has been someone that is very much the person they've been looking for, the person that they need. I do feel with this X energy though, yeah, they know justice is handing it to them hard. Especially seeing you move on. Especially hearing that you're doing so much better. It's something that they feel is the consequence of their own actions of whatever they did that let you go. But they are not happy with it. They don't think that that's the final say. Now for others of you where this is the current person, they could work in law enforcement. They could be studying law. Work as a lawyer in some sense. Paralegal. But I kind of feel overall with this that they want to make something right. They want you to trust. And I do feel they want to take the initiative in making something or proving something to you, Aries, that this is something you can trust. They love holding your hand. If someone could have like really warm hands when you guys touch. But what they think about this connection, think about you as three of swords. Libra energy, very strong Libra energy. If you're dealing with the Libra or if you have strong Libra in your chart, I suggest checking out the Libra reading to see if there's messages for you there. But yeah, um, you know, if this is the X again, yeah, they're sad, they're hurt, they're still clinging of what could have been, should have been. And I think that's the world of hurt that they're in over this current status with you Aries especially if you haven't reached out especially if you never texted back especially if you blocked them it's been something that they've been really struggling with and a lot of people see that too uh, they can't stop talking about you with their family members and friends of you what they could have had with you it, it's something that everyone sees that they're really hurting from now with newer energy Especially with any sort of conversation you've had in the past about, you know, opening up and trust issues. They know you've been through hell. A bad heartbreak. Something that would, you know, set anyone off. Definitely for some of you guys, cheating was in the past. And it was a big betrayal here. And I think also for some of you, uh, if it's not your message, don't take it, but... If there is some sort of thought wondering if you're holding on to an ex, that is something that this newer energy definitely struggles with. Is definitely hurt by. And I'm just seeing like a picture that they found of the two of you. I don't know if it was like on someone's Facebook from a long time ago or they found it in someone's car or phone, but it's like, why do you still have this picture? Damn. What they like the most about you is the Seven of Cups. Scorpio energy. Some of you could have a Scorpio moon or a Scorpio rising, but you're a very complex person, Aries. You are a lot more than what meets the eye. 
you have different levels to you, different layers that people find so intriguing. And I do feel you keep a lot of those inner layers close to you. You don't like to show people too much. Because I feel like when you thought you did, you showed your vulnerable side, it didn't work out the best for you. It was used against you in some sort of way. You change up your look a lot. I don't know, maybe you kind of like to change the color of your hair quite a bit. For those who wear makeup, change your makeup a bit, change your style all the time. And they find that always really exciting. But yeah, for most of you, you just are very d deep, complex people that um, is not what a lot of people come across. And you definitely stir a lot of emotions in both of these energies that are surrounding you now. Both of them daydream and fantasize about you, what it would be like to be with you, be back with you, what it would be like to have something deep with you, what it would be like to be in bed with you, all that Aries. You keep people fantasizing about what should or could happen. That's always been something on both ends of what they feel strongly about you. They can see different scenarios playing out between the two of you. Now, if this is the X energy, I have to say, like, they're afraid that, you know, that they've emotionally depleted you, overwhelmed you, and that you're always going to use what happened as an excuse to not grow anything. And I don't blame you guys, honestly. But they're upset by that. They're angry by that. Again, there's part of like a refusing to accept where you're at now or where you're trying to go. That's making them emotionally triggered. What they don't like about you is the hermit card. Virgo energy. So I do feel both ends, for different reasons, may find you to be a bit more withdrawing, a bit more elusive, shy. They find you to be a bit quiet and they wonder what you're thinking about. I do feel Aries this need to be alone at times, just to recharge, just to kind of process everything after a long day, but this person may struggle with your need to be alone. And for some, that could definitely be a defense mechanism of yours. But for most of you, yeah, it's like if this is the newer energy, they wonder if you're mad or if you're upset, if they did something wrong when you do go silent. And the older energy, clearly, they just have felt like since you've withdrawn, you've never come back. And you're very private. Maybe they think there's a lot that you are trying to kind of like not show and hide. It doesn't feel like deep, dark secrets or anything like that. But again, that sense of vulnerability, that sense of openness. And definitely for some of you, it takes a long time to text back, which could bother someone here. What they like the most about this connection is the two of wands. Aries energy. Some of you could possibly be dealing with another Aries or someone with strong Aries in their chart. But I do feel that if this is the newer love, they've felt something with you from the start that they still want to actively pursue. They're not giving up on this. They are definitely still interested in seeing where this can go. They feel the excitement and the need to push through, to still invite you, even if you do withdraw, even if you do go silent. They still want to actively engage with you, still invite you to certain parties and events. And maybe even you guys have some plans for Halloween that they're really excited about, that they think is going to be a great time with you. Now, if this is X energy, because it wants to make its appearance, yeah, I think, Aries, you really did care about that ex before some sort of hurt or betrayal came about. And you always wanted to, you know, see what they were doing every weekend, wanted to hang out with them. 
you put yourself out there in a way that this ex realizes you don't do with other people often. And I also think that's what made it hurt the most, right? Because when you did take that chance, it didn't work out. They miss seeing you. They miss you when you came over. They miss having you at their home. And someone could definitely have had a lot of uh, hanging out time on a balcony. You guys would always, you know, chill out there, have conversations out there, smoke out there. I don't know. But they miss those times with you. They just miss seeing you. And there's a part of this X energy that is still waiting, still hoping you'll come back, whether that's unrealistic or not. What they don't like about this connection is the Empress. This speaks volumes here. Taurus energy, Libra energy. So if this is X energy, let's just start it off with, you're doing fine, more than fine. You're doing well. Some of you guys have like, increased your finances, have been doing well with your career, have had a glow up physically even. Again, if you've changed up your look or if you've gained or lost weight, there's something that you're looking really good now. And I wouldn't say it was like out of revenge to have this glow up, but it was out of means for you to elevate your own energy to get out of the three of swords that you were in for such a long time. And this X energy has always found you to be very handsome, very beautiful. Probably, I feel, the most beautiful or handsome they've ever been able to date, that they've been ever been able to score. Now, some of you, this does kind of relate to the fact that maybe you realize this person's still around because of the fact that there's children involved, that that's why they have to still be around. There are two threes here. Her birthday could be April 3rd, April 13th, March 30th, or March 23rd for some of you guys. But yeah, I kind of just get the sense that you had everything, Aries, and you do have everything. And with the newer love, even, they're waiting to see you finally open up to that complex, beautiful, open, receiving side. That side that's open to being nurtured, being loved in the way that they want to give it to you, Aries. But this part is still very protected. And you know, I do feel like a very strong protection of the heart chakra. Maybe even a blockage of the heart chakra here. There could also be someone that has mother issues or doesn't like your mom or you don't like their mom. That's coming through for some of you guys as well, right? Highest hopes is the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So if this is the new love, the true love trying to come in, they want to work at this and they're hoping that whatever this obstacle is, whatever this more difficult part of this connection, you guys will work it out if you both put the effort in, if you both put the time in. They're ready. They're dedicated. They want to give this a chance. They want to give this a shot. Maybe there's even classes that they signed the two of you up for. I don't know if it's like a workout class. I don't know if it's like a hobbies class. Or someone's been diving deeper into a hobby they are really starting to get into. And it helps you guys bond through that for some of you. But um, if this is the X energy, yeah, that this can still work out. Clearly. With even the amount of time that since you last spoken to one another, even if it's been eight months eight years, I don't know. They're hoping that it could still just, by the grace of God, by a miracle, can be saved in a way. But the deepest fears is the Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. So if this is the X, yeah, you've moved on. You're never going to reach out. You're on to newer paths, brighter paths. You just don't want the drama and you know even just interacting with this person, talking to this person is just going to bring about troubled waters that you're getting through that you know don't need to welcome back into your life. And especially if they try to reach out recently for some of you and you haven't 
responded, they're afraid it's going to still be left unresponded. And for others of you, if this is the newer energy trying to come in, they're afraid you're just going to stop talking one day, that it's just not comfortable or safe for you to trust in going for this and making the effort in this and kind of just silently exiting and detaching and to not get an explanation why. They're afraid one of these times you don't text back for a while, it's going to be for good. That really scares the Marys. Also with the Six of Swords, um, there could be a long distance between you and this newer energy, the older energy, and they're afraid that distance is also what's keeping you guys apart from going to the next level, or it's hard to see one another if they have to travel a long distance. All right, Aries, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now to the end of the month that you need to be aware of, know about. We're gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm gonna overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome, what's likely to happen, who is more meant for you, and any other questions you have, let's get those answered now. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Aries, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it gave you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever is going on in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries.